Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to our Navy team around the world. Earlier today, Admiral Gilday relinquished the office of the Chief of Naval Operations after completing his four-year term as our 32nd CNO. As your Vice Chief of Naval Operations, I will perform the duties of CNO until the 33rd CNO is appointed. With the challenges we face as a Navy and a nation, I do so with a sense of urgency and a keen eye on what is necessary to ensure our Navy remains the world's preeminent fighting force. The vital mission of our Navy continues undisrupted and unabated. We, along with the Marine Corps, are America's away team, operating forward 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year to keep threats far from our shores, to support our allies and partners, and to enable the lifeblood of commerce to flow freely across the global commons. In peacetime, we underwrite American prosperity and security, while always remaining ready to conduct prompt and sustained combat operations if called to do so. Our global presence on, under, and above the sea provides options to our nation's decision makers every single day. During this leadership transition, our core identity as sailors remains a constant. We are forged by the sea and connected to each other through our core values of honor, courage, and commitment. Along with our Navy civilians, we are a formidable team of warfighting professionals who know our trade and are steadfast in our dedication to our Navy's mission. Mick Honey and I are committed to removing barriers and empowering you to be the best warfighters that you can be. Our readiness to fight and win today is built on the strong foundation put in place by Admiral Gilday over the last four years. Let's join together and give him a hearty Bravo Zulu for his transformational leadership and for his 38 years of service. I'd like to express my personal gratitude to him and his wife, Linda, for their dedication to our Navy and our Navy families. We wish them fair winds and following seas as they begin the next leg of their journey. As I look over the horizon to the many challenges that lie ahead, I am proud of this team and all you have done to make us the most powerful Navy in the world. Your hard work ensures that we will be ready for anything that comes our way. Thank you for what you do. And please pass my thanks to your families and your support networks for what they do to keep us ready every day to fight and win against any adversary, anytime, anywhere. Thanks for your time today, and I look forward to seeing you out in the fleet.